Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ultimate Manifestation Podcast. I'm your host, Reverend Sean Robert Grant. You know, it's interesting because I do a couple other different podcasts and I was, <laughs> I was about to say welcome to the actors area or the, the money cure. Or I got mixed up there for a bit, but I hope you're feeling well this morning or whatever time you're listening to this. If you're on um if you're listening via recording, hope that this message finds you feeling your best and feeling something we're going to dive in today, which is gratitude, feeling grateful and appreciative for life. I know from experience, it's not always easy to find the gratitude in things, but it is definitely worth it. And um, yeah, before we get into that, let's get rolling. Thank you in advance to all of our listeners coming from all over the globe. The downloads have spiked immensely in the last couple of months, which is amazing. So thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your downloads. Thank you for everything that you do uh, in reference in regards to this podcast and all the other podcasts that I've been fortunate enough to do. Um, The main objective is basically just to share the insight that I've been gifted with. And if it can help you, great. Please share it with somebody else who can benefit from it. If not, you can find, maybe you'll find someone, some podcast that can help you. So I wish you well in that quest, no matter what it is. So if you have any comments, any feedback, anything you'd like to share uh, with us here at the Ultimate Manifestation Podcast, please write to shaung04 gmail.com and we will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Yes, we will. All right. Let's get rocking. Today, manifesting with the power of gratitude. Now, you know what's interesting is, other than, I talked about Rhonda Byrne the other day, other than her, I have never really seen um, someone basically focus on gratitude as much. As a matter of fact, she wrote an entire book called... um, the magic, which is about gratitude. And I feel like I still have a copy of this book, but this book, if you hadn't read it, oh my goodness, it is powerful because it centers itself around gratitude in a way that is so intricate, so detailed um, and meticulous and just divine in every sense. You do these exercises and then you just find yourself feeling on top of the world and the beauty with gratitude is you can be in any possible state, even the worst state. Um, and all of a sudden you find yourself feeling thankful for something and continuing to dive in to feel thankful. And the beauty of gratitude is gratitude continues to expand the more you feel it. Right? So if you, if we both were to sit here and this would make it even more powerful, If we both were just to sit here and just say, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we took a deep breath and we just felt grateful for everything that we had been blessed with in our lives. And we said, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know about you, but could you, could you feel the shift in vibration when you get down into the power of appreciating and being grateful? And it was just nothing in particular. I just started saying, thank you. And and if you started saying it with me and you said it at, at that pace, all of a sudden the energy within you shifts. This is the power of thank you. There's a, there's a quote, I forgot who said it. Maybe it's a scripture, um, but it mentioned that if you could only say one prayer, right? No, I, I don't think it's a scripture. I think it's a quote. If you could only say one prayer, that prayer would just be thank you. And that would be enough because it's that powerful. You know, the beauty is life, creation, divine essence is working for us. And sometimes because we're so caught up in these ideas of control, these ideas of, of making stuff happen. And that's, you know, that's kind of given the law of attraction, a bad rap 
in a sense that you can just make things happen. You can conjure things out of thin air, you know, like magic tricks. Um, what tends to happen is, is when stuff doesn't show up according to what we feel like it should be, we begin to fall victim. Okay. We begin to fall victim to feeling sour as it relates to life. And that sourness can really allow us to miss. Okay. It can really allow us to miss all the things that we can be blessed for and grateful about. And so what I wanted to use this episode was not to necessarily just give you methods, but to take you through some stuff that is really going to transform your life when you, when you listen to this and you can earmark this podcast, download it just so you have it, um, to really dive into these gratitude exercises. Right. And so as I was saying, I just, I just want to take you through some stuff that I know that is going to change everything for the greater along the lines of you're just going to feel better after this. And that's the magic of stepping into the power of gratitude. Um, I've gotten into the habit for the most part of these last few days of really focusing on gratitude. I try to do it as much as I can in the morning, but sometimes, you know, it's one of those situations where, you know, I don't get to it to the middle of the day, but here's the thing. As long as you do it, that's all that counts. As long as you're sincere, that's all that counts. As long as you're authentic, that's all that counts. So I'm going to ask you first and foremost, do you have something in your life to be grateful for? Do you have something in your life to be thankful for? And it doesn't matter what it is. And it could be something so simple, but I really want you to think about that in a sense says, what do I have to be grateful for? And something may come up as far as where I live, my dog, my relationship, my family, whatever it is, just ask yourself, do I have something to be thankful for? And so once you know, cause that may sound like a trick question, but the reality is everybody has something to be thankful for. And it only takes us to take our attention off of everything else and place it upon that gratitude. Right? So I'm going to take you through some things that I really think that if we choose to be thankful for these, what we begin to understand is that life is so very beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful, enhancing, supporting, nurturing, exciting, all these beautiful things. And it all happens because of gratitude. Okay. So you ready for this? All right. Do me a favor. Take a couple deep breaths here. I want you to breathe in for a count of one, two, three, four, and five. Very good. And then let it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now I want you to do that a couple times here over the next minute or so and really just relax into your body. Really take a moment to relax into your body. Really take the time to take all of the focus and unless you're driving while listening to this, um, if you're sitting down and you're undisturbed, that's beautiful, but it doesn't really matter. I just want you to take one hand or two hands and place it on the center of your chest, place it on your heart. And I want you to stay focused on that breathing. And I'm going to give you a little bit of time to really dive into that five in pause, five out pause. Good. And as we continually breathe nice and easy, And our focus begins to zero in on that heartbeat. I want you to understand something. Nothing happens outside of this very act, right? Nothing in life happens outside of this very act as far as it goes with you. And so what I mean by that is 
life doesn't happen unless you're breathing, unless the oxygen that's flowing through that bloodstream is flowing to and from that heart into the other extremities of the body. You know, they often say that we experience our most gratitude when we're lying in the bed, unwell, not being able to do the stuff that we've at times taken for granted. But this is a moment to not take that for granted. How amazing as it is, and I'm hoping that all of you have this ability to be able to get up in the morning, walk to the bathroom, brush your teeth, wash your face, you know, put on clothes. All these amazing things have shelter, have breakfast, you know, take a walk around your neighborhood. How amazing is that? How much do we have to be grateful for? Because none of that happens unless we have breath, unless we have the heartbeat. So as you're still breathing, I just want you to say to yourself or out loud, I am so happy and grateful for the breath of life. I am so happy and grateful for my breath of life. I am so happy and and grateful for my breath of life. And so the magic is, is that everything begins to slow itself down. When life slows down, we become more present. We become more accessible to the gifts. That is the sun shining or the rain falling to the plants that are sitting outside, to the trees, to the grass, right? To the blue sky, to all of these beautiful things surrounding us. And they all start with breath because breath is what gives us life. So one more time, I am so happy and grateful for my breath of life. Good. Now I want you to think about Check in with yourself. How does that feel? How does that feel? Doesn't that feel light years different from where we started? I mean, unless you're just a naturally grateful individual (laughs) and you do this practice all the time, doesn't that feel just extraordinarily wonderful from where we started? Good, because we're not done yet. Okay. Okay. So I want you to take, continue breathing and you can say to yourself or out loud, I'm so happy and grateful for my heartbeat every moment of the day. I am so happy and grateful for my heartbeat every moment of the day. I am so happy and grateful for my heartbeat every moment moment of the day. Good. Breathe deeply into that. Continue to say that to yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to share something with you that is so pivotal. How many times throughout the day do we forget the breath? How many times throughout the day do we forget the heartbeat? Where we get so caught up in the stressors outside if we only knew that none of it exi- none of it exists without the breath without the heartbeat what does that tell us right there that brings us back to the source it brings us back to the catalyst to the igniter of life itself and guess what when we know that's the most important thing you know what happens it changes how we see everything. It changes the fact or the the idea, because it's not a fact, but it's just an idea. It changes this notion that life is not good. It changes the notion that life is not supporting us because life is giving us every single thing we need. But the most important thing we need in order to enjoy this journey. 
in order to go to those challenges head on. And that is breath. And that's a heartbeat. And I'm going to tell you, coming from somebody who had a lot of issues and a lot of problems outside of themselves, from my perception, it wasn't until I discovered that, oh my gosh, you know what? If I can just be grateful for something that is present all of the time for the last almost 43 years of my life. And for some of you less, some of you more be present for that constant, be grateful. Sorry for that constant. That's been present all the time. Not one time has my heartbeat stopped. And if it has stopped for you, because I know some of you listening, it has, but then it came back. It started up again. But that time, the moment I came out of the womb, the moment all of us came out of the womb and we took our first breath and we never stopped breathing. Or maybe we stopped, but then we got the gift back again. Now, you may be asking yourself. This is supposed to be a podcast about manifestation. But I'm going to tell you something. This is manifestation. Because what this does is help you to manifest it, the true joy of life. And if you can take joy in this, right, if you can take joy in this, you can take joy in anything. Because nothing else matters if the heartbeat isn't there. Nothing else matters if the breath is not full. Life ceases to sustain itself within our vessel when those things aren't present. So as long as those things are present, we have abundance, we have love, we have joy, we have beauty, we have excitement, we have gratitude, we have power. Isn't that amazing? Just by focusing and being grateful for that and that alone. That gratitude ripples exponentially throughout our life, our lives, and helps us to to take our focus off of the things that we've just been so consistently focused on and, and, and honed in towards thinking that anything outside of us could really bring us joy. No, this is the true joy. This is where the true happiness and the true gratitude lies is when you think about these two things. And I'm telling you from experience. I've had success in an immeasurable capacity in a multitude of avenues of life. They don't compare. I've had more than enough money, actually a lot of money than most people would begin to think about having still doesn't compare. It doesn't compare, right? Travel to some of the most beautiful places on earth does not compare. Why? Because all that stuff I just described, eventually it goes away, right? You're, you're just not going to see something luxurious and beautiful every day of your life. That's just not how life works. Right. And I just, it's <laughs> no one has the capacity to travel to different places to continually. And I, and I honestly and truthfully believe from a spiritual standpoint, life is set up this way so we can find out what the real um, essence of joy is. And that's the life force running through us. And to be grateful for that life force leads us to a position to be able to open us to everything else. And then all of a sudden, everything else just seems so small, right, in comparison. But it's like we're trained to believe any and everything outside of that is what's important. We're trained to believe this. And as we believe this. 
it's not until we get into that that hole or that 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 room where we can't get out or we can't dig anymore right whatever analogy you want to use do we understand now what you see in life we're often taken to the very ends of the thing we think is going to bring us our proverbial holy grail but in actuality that's the blessing the blessing comes when you're brought to that place that experience only to find that the joy the essence the thing to be most grateful for all along was lying inside of us isn't that beautiful isn't that beautiful that I can look at my life and it could be falling apart and I could be, I could not have anything from the outside. It looks like, but then all of a sudden I just remember my breath, the breath of life, that life force energy, that oxygen that the trees and plants are just giving off and I'm taking it in and it's just vibrating my body. Right. And then my heartbeat, which is sending blood to all of my extremities, which allows me to get up and take that walk, to get up and go to that computer and do that podcast, to pick up that phone and call someone I I care about to tell them I love them or text them to tell them I love them or send an inspirational message across social media. It's those two things. And all I'm here to do. Is to take your focus off all the stuff that's been stressing you and put it on the things that will never stress you. The things that will make you feel so appreciative, so loving, so grateful for life itself. And that is the heartbeat. And that is the breath of life. So before I leave you today, I want to leave you with this exercise. Once again, please feel free to Download this episode, um, write down the exercise within it, go back to it often. This is something we should do through practice every single day because I guarantee you it's going to change. It's going to change everything. It's going to change your financial life more than any money exercise I can give to you. Why? Because you realize I have everything that I need. Right. It's going to change your career more than anything you could ever need. Why? Because I'm going to be so grateful that I'm going to make the most of the career that I'm in because I realize I have everything that I need. It's going to change your relationships. Why? Because you realize at the end of the day, you don't need anybody to be any different than what they are, because within you have everything that you need. Through breath, through life, through heartbeat, you have everything that you need. And in that you can be filled with immense gratitude. That's all to it. It's that simple. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, please, by all means, write to us. S H A U N G zero four gmail.com. Wherever you are, whatever time it is, have a wonderful rest of your day. And once again, share this podcast with anybody who could use it. Be sure to download this exercise, this episode, so you can have this exercise at your disposal. And, um, yeah, this has been fun. It's been a pleasure. I tell you, I feel better just doing this and teaching this exercise to you, um, for this entire episode. So I'm just, I'm happy to be able to share that. And like I said, I just, I know it's going to transform your life because it's transforming my life and it makes everything so much easier. But it's important that we're focused on the right area in order to have that um, to have that joy, to have that gratitude, that excitement and experience that beauty of life. With that being said, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Take care.